Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2019 Palmetto's Finest Awards announcement. We are so excited to have all of you participating remotely as we celebrate the accomplishments of the finalist schools and announce this year's winners. Each spring since 1978, the South Carolina Association of School Administrators, SCAZA, has recognized a select group of exemplary schools. As the selection committee reviewed the applications and visited the nominees, the process focused on key questions. What impact is the school making on each student? And is the school doing the very best it can to prepare each student to be a productive citizen and to be college or career ready upon graduation? It takes a strong commitment from educators, families, elected officials, and the business community to make the incredible progress we have made in public education. And this commitment has helped each of our finalist schools in their endeavor to become Palmetto's Finest. The Palmetto's Finest Awards process and presentation could not be done without the support of our many friends in the business community. Data Recognition Corporation and NWEA, supporters of the Palmetto Finest Program, will be supporting and sponsoring a dinner during the 2019 Innovative Ideas Institute to recognize the winners. South Carolina Educational Television, ETV, has remained a steadfast supporter of the Palmetto's Finest Program throughout the years. We are in their studio today, and they have been working diligently to stream this announcement to all of you live. The announcement is being recorded and will be made available to you. South Carolina is very fortunate to have strong superintendents, local and state school board leaders, and legislators. Many of them are present in the finalist schools today. At this time, would you please stand and be recognized by your local audience? Thank you all for your tremendous support. Last but certainly not least, we would also like to recognize and thank Brenda Bird, chairman of the Palmetto's Finest Committee, as well as the Palmetto's Finest Committee members for all of their time and commitment to this awards program. We have several distinguished guests with us today to present the awards. Mrs. Penny Atkinson, SCASA president, Brenda Bird, Palmetto's Finest Committee chairman, and the Honorable Molly Spearman, South Carolina Superintendent of Education. You will see them a little later in the program. I would also like to thank Beth Fibbs, Executive Director of SCAZA, for being here today. Well, it has now come to the time in our program where we will learn more about our finalist. The finalists for the elementary category are Mount Holly Elementary School, York School District 3, Principal Nakia Barnes. Mount Holly Elementary School, York School District 3. Mount Holly Elementary School opened in August 2008 and currently serves 470 students in kindergarten through fifth grade. All students participate in Club Friday, One School, One Book, community outreach, and other opportunities. The greatest academic improvement has been shown in mathematics as they move students from the lowest quartile to approaches, meets, or advanced levels on SC Ready and increase the number of students demonstrating a year's growth on the measures of academic progress assessment. They attribute many successes in meeting student academic achievement, social, emotional, and physical needs to the ongoing support of faculty, staff, and community stakeholders. Partnership with a local church strongly supports a variety of student needs. The school works tirelessly to achieve a pattern of academic improvement. Many dimensions are essential to ensure children first, yet they maintain a collaborative, dedicated effort to foster and nourish their mission of engaging students for success one win at a time. Please congratulate Dr. Nakia Barnes, Principal of Mount Holly Elementary School, York School District 3. Our next finalist, River Springs Elementary School, Lexington Richland School District 5, Principal Melanie Cohen. River Springs Elementary School, Lexington Richland School District 5. 
The River Springs Elementary School family includes 531 students in four-year-old kindergarten through fifth grade. Each day, students, teachers, parents, and community members live out the school's motto, working together to build the future in ways that support children as they learn and grow. River Springs offers a wide variety of opportunities to ensure that all students are ready to meet the profile of the South Carolina graduate. On any given day, you can walk through the hallways and find students working together on projects, engaging with technology, and exploring the arts. You can also see volunteers working with students to encourage their personal and academic growth, as well as talented teachers and staff serving the school community with pride. The school focuses on developing the academic, social, physical, and emotional growth of children by creating a safe, stimulating, and child-friendly school that is the center of the community. Please congratulate Melanie Cohen, principal of River Springs Elementary School, Lexington Richland School District 5. Our next finalist, Waccamaw Intermediate Schools, Georgetown County Schools, Principal Timothy Carnahan. Waccamaw Intermediate School, Georgetown County Schools. Waccamaw Intermediate School opened in the fall of 2008, serving students in grades four, five, and six. It is located in the coastal community of Polly's Island and is one of four schools in the Waccamaw attendance area in Georgetown County. The school's mission, cultivating excellence in education, permeates the school. Students participate in fine arts productions, First Lego League, STEM Lab, Project Lead the Way, Garden Club, Steel Drum Band, Advanced Art, First Tee Golf Instruction, and Overnight Camping Trips. The greatest academic improvement has been the movement of their students of poverty in ELA and their overall writing scores. The parents and community contribute countless hours to the school supporting teachers by volunteering their time and resources. Waccamaw Intermediate has received the Palmetto Gold Award for achievement every year since inception, the National Blue Ribbon Award, and an excellent report card rating. Please congratulate Dr. Timothy Carnahan, principal of Waccamaw Intermediate School, Georgetown County Schools. Presenting the elementary award is Brenda Bird, Palmetto's finest ch committee chairman. Brenda. I have enjoyed leading the Palmetto's Finest Committee this year and would also like to thank the Palmetto's Finest Committee members for all their hard work and dedication to this program. We will be giving one elementary award and the winner of the elementary school Palmetto's Finest Award is... Waccamaw Intermediate School, Timothy Carnahan, Principal. Congratulations to our elementary school winner. Moving on now to the high school category. Our finalists are Nation Ford High School, York School District 4, Principal Jason Johns. Nation Ford High School, York School District 4. Nation Ford High School is home to over 2,100 diverse students who create a rich culture of learning, caring, family, and tolerance. All stakeholders strive to support students emotionally, socially, and academically. Their mission focuses on supporting student learning through faculty collaboration and a sense of family. This focus allowed them to receive consecutive excellent report card ratings, outpace the state in ACT, SAT, and EOC achievement, and increase their AP program by 423 students while maintaining an 80% pass rate. The school's successful learning culture is exemplified by the lower level quintiles growth in all EOC courses. Nation Ford is successful in the areas of community service, athletics, JROTC, and fine arts, which are all competitive at the regional, state, and national levels. They provide a nurturing environment where all stakeholders feel valued, heard, and their contributions reinforce and support all students to be successful and create a family-rich culture. Please congratulate Jason Johns, principal of Nation Ford High School, York School District 4.
Our next finalist, River Bluff High School, Lexington School District 1, Principal Lucas Clamp. River Bluff High School, Lexington School District 1. River Bluff, an innovative high school which opened in 2013, is a vision of leaders in Lexington School District 1 who were charged to think in a new direction. Embracing the challenge to create without boundaries and to dream beyond traditional education, River Bluff opened as a new learning system centered on students. As time inside and outside of class passes, students make decisions and manage their time through 25 modules of time from 10 to 30 minutes each within an innovative, flexible modular schedule. A partnership with EL Education solidified the school's path towards student-engaged learning experiences and assessment, where achievement is viewed in three dimensions, mastery of knowledge and skills, character, and high-quality work. With five years of academic, arts, and athletic achievements earned, the best is yet to come, as their motto, work hard, get smart, do good, resonates with every student, staff member, and stakeholder. Please congratulate Dr. Luke Clamp, principal of River Bluff High School in Lexington, School District 1. Presenting the high school winner, Penny Atkinson, president of SCASA. I am honored to be part of the announcement this afternoon and so proud of each of the work each of our final schools do each and every day to make a difference in the lives of the children they serve. And the winner of the High School Palmetto's Finest Award is... River Bluff High School, Lucas Clamp, Principal. Congratulations. Congratulations to our high school winner. Moving on now to our special schools category. The special schools finalists are Blythe Academy of Languages, Greenville County Schools, Principal, Principal I should say, Sandra Griffin. Blythe Academy, Greenville County Schools. As Greenville County Schools' only foreign language magnet school, Blythe Academy offers partial immersion programs in French and Spanish, teaching math, science, and health in the target languages to 80% of their students. The remaining 20% participate in the foreign language in the elementary school program, receiving 30 minutes of Spanish daily. Blythe Academy's vision is that students achieve academic success, bilingual and biliterate proficiency, and multicultural competency. Half of their diverse population live in the attendance area, and the other half lives throughout the district. With a free and reduced meals rate of nearly 44%, a poverty index of almost 56%, and the district's highest homeless population, Blythe is proud of 2018 SC Ready Score increases of 6% in ELA and 15% in math. Immersion students exceed the district's elementary proficiency goal in all areas as measured by Apple testing. Named 2012-13 International Spanish Academy School of the Year, Blythe's rigorous program prepares every child to be college and career ready. Please congratulate Dr. Sandra Griffin, principal of Blythe Academy in Greenville County Schools. Our next finalist, Spring Hill High School, Lexington Richland School District 5, Principal Michael Lofton. Spring Hill High School, Lexington Richland School District 5. Spring Hill High School opened in August 2013 as an all choice, all magnet public high school in Lexington Richland School District 5. A career pathways magnet, Spring Hill High School offers five academies to students in grades 9 through 12 engineering, entertainment, entrepreneurial, environmental studies, and exercise science. Students take classes in one or more of these academies to engage in highly technological, real-world application and core subjects, enhancing college and career readiness. The academies ignite imagination and make student learning relevant by using themed, standards-based curriculum. With open enrollment, non-criteria-based admissions, Spring Hill has a 96% graduation rate and exceeds state and national averages in EOC passage rate and AP, 
ACT, and SAT scores. Spring Hill was awarded a Magnet Schools of America Merit Award School of Distinction for three consecutive years and is ranked in the top 100 schools in the nation by thebestschools.org. Please congratulate Dr. Michael Lofton, principal of Spring Hill High School in Lexington, Richland School District 5. Presenting the special category winner is the Honorable Molly Spearman, South Carolina Superintendent of Education. Thank you, Judy, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm so honored to be here to get to participate in this special awards presentation. I want to take the opportunity to say a special thank you to all the teachers, principals, administrative staff, the students for your hard work and the family and community for supporting the schools. It takes all of us working together to build schools of this high excellence. So thank you for the hard work. Keep it up. And I'm honored now to present the winner of the Special Schools Category Palmetto's Finest Award. And the winner is... Spring Hill High School, Michael Lofton, Principal. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our winners and to all of the finalist schools. Enjoy your celebrations in your schools and your communities.